Welcome to Babs Arcade. Now today, I'm going to be showing you how to install and use C-Spect. C-Spect is a Spectrum Next emulator um, by Mike Daly. So the first thing that we need is C-Spect. So if you head on over to zxspectrumnext.online slash cspect you'll be presented with the following web page. So the first thing that we need to do is download cspect from this address here. So we'll click on there. The current version is 2.19.2.1 so we'll click on the download link there keep keep anyway there we go so if you do get that error um, it's safe to download the file and we'll drag that and put that onto our desktop. So after downloading C Spect, we need to download the OpenAL32 installer. So we'll click on that and keep, keep anyway. Drag that to our desktop. Now the next program that I find useful is get rid of Bing. Okay. Find them disk. So basically what this is, it's for images that you can mount onto Windows as though it's a um, SD card so we can download that there we go Now another thing we need is a SD card image. So let's go for a 16 gig SD card image. We'll click on that. Turn that to desktop. So we've got our four files that we need. Now what I'm going to do now is create a folder and just call that cspect stuff, drag all those files into there and then what we'll do now is open that folder and then we'll unzip. the c-spect folder within the c-spect stuff folder there we go so there's the folder now we've just for c-spect like so and then okay so we'll unzip the 
TLL EXE file. Okay, so we need to run that. Now I've already done that on my machine. So open AL, okay, installation complete. So that's the first part of the installation. Okay, secondly, if we extract uh, IM disk and we can install that there and that will present us with this nice little program and I'll show you what that does in a second so now we can get our 16 gig card extract that now this is going to take a few minutes because this is uh, compressed image highly compressed image so windows only um, reads this as just under 46 meg 45.6 meg but it's actually a 16 gig SD card once you've extracted it So we'll just let that do its thing. So then the next thing we need to do is once we've installed the OpenAL driver and we've installed image disk, we can then grab our Expect image and ennextzx.rom and ennextmmc.rom. So all three files. Copy those into our cspect directory. Right, so once that's copied over into our folder, next thing that we need to do is create a bat file. So if we create a new um, text document and we can call that um, Next OS dot bat and press enter. We want to change that. Then we can right click on that, edit, and then type out the following. And then make note of tbblue.img. Now you can call this whatever you like, but if I was you, I would just copy that so it's saved to your um, clipboard. Save that file. And then look for the 16 gig image that you've just copied across. And then you can rename and you can paste what you've just copied which is tbblue.image you don't need both of the dot img so just get rid of one of those press enter and there we are we should now be ready so to start up cspect 
we can now double click on nextos.bat and there we go we have a working version of C-Spect with all the games um, demos it's all there as if you were using a real next right now how do we get files onto this image so what we have to think of is the all the images the emulator thinks that it's an SD card it's not a physical SD card it's an image of the SD card so what we need to do we'll quit out of CSpect and the image program that we installed mount image we need to load that up and then click the three dots search for where you the folder where you've just installed C spec so in our case it's on the desktop C spec stuff C spec 219.21 find the image it will be the largest file in that directory and that's it there tbblue.image select that open and then everything else can be kept the same so it's going to be a drive letter L on your PC and you can also automatically mount the image at Windows but for this video we'll just click OK now so that will mount that image and there it is so it's the L drive and if we go into our PC you'll see the L drive listed along with your other drives so now we can copy files onto that image as if it was a SD card so the file I'm going to copy across is TX1696 so I've got my folder I've got my pretend SD card if you like my image mounted on my PC and I'm literally just going to drag it across and there you go it's copied onto the image so now what you must remember to do is shut down all those windows go back to your imaging program so now what you must remember to do is right click on the L drive and then move up to unmount IM disk virtual disk so that's the same as taking out your SD card or unmounting your SD card from a physical drive so once we've done that we can then load C spec back up by clicking on our bat file that we've created so double click on there and that will bring us to our browser we'll just make the screen a little bit bigger there we go and now we can use the browser to find the file that we've just copied across TX1696 and then we can hopefully load it up Thanks. 
There you go. So we've added key controls to this game. QA OP space um, Z or enter to select your weapons. Space is obviously fire. So there you go, um, if you would like to head over to uh, coffee.com, which is ko-fi.com, um, look for Mike Daly on there, and you can uh, send him a little gift, send him a little uh, donation for a coffee, um, for all his hard work on C-Spect, I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Uh, and also, um, get yourself over to luckyredfish.com and download the demo. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please um, like, comment and subscribe if you like the video. It's much appreciated if you do. I'll put all the links in the description below. And I will catch you next time. Ta-ra!